Hi guys, <coughs> welcome to our online training. Today I want to show you how we are going to learn AutoCAD. AutoCAD is a program used for designing engineering drawings from electrical, mechanical, architectural, structural and civil works. It has all the tools used to design those engineering drawings. So it's divided into two. We have 3D and 2D. 2D is for just designing plans or elevations. Here on our screen, this is the screen for AutoCAD. We have our start. Then uh, I'm going to show you how we can now uh, check the interface of AutoCAD. I'm using AutoCAD 2017. But the interface for all other versions remains the same. Be 2016, 2022, the interface remains the same. So when you open the, the application, here you click on uh, Start Drawing. Now we are going to start our drawing. So I want to show you the interface, how, how the interface looks like, what are they, and how they work. So when you open a new drawing, this is our model space. This black screen is our model space. This is where we make our drawings. So as I said earlier, we have 2D. We have the X and Y for drawing plans. And then we here, we have tabs. We have home tab, we have insert tab, we have uh, various tabs, annotate, we have parametric, we have view tabs. Each and every tab has a ribbon attached to it. Mm. So we'll be looking at all these tabs and apply them in our in, in engineering drawing, which you find. Then uh, it's called the model space. The model space is here. And then we also have uh, layout. Layout is where we, are, we plan, we place our views and uh, giving it to scale for plotting and printing. So we'll look into layout in later. So these are model space and these are our tabs. So we, when we start with the home tab, we have the draw ribbon here. The draw ribbon is the one which contains various tools used to designing. You can see there are lines, polyline, circles. When you click down that arrow, you'll see we have circle, how you can design various circles. We have, we have a rectangle. You'll see we have a rectangle tool there. We have hatch. We also have modify, or how you can modify various drawings that we have made and then annotation documentation of our of our project here and then layers so we'll be looking at each and every ribbon there down here we have what we call a command line command line is what it gives us options eh? autocad works with commands so these commands when you look at the command line you will find it will give you various options on how you can operate a particular tool that which you want to use so always check on your command line when you pick on any tool what it tells you the next procedure what does it do what do you want to do with that particular tool you check out your command line then you pick on options available there so given that so let me just start straight on so for example when i click on a line tool we have our line tool you have the line tool here. A minute. You have a line tool. These commands, these tools, you can also type them the way they are there. So, an example, you can have line. So, when you pick, click, type line on your command, on your keyboard, you'll find it gives you like something like a line. So that's what a line tool is. Or you can click on this particular icon for the line. So when you click on line, it will ask you, when you look at the command line, it will show you, specify the first point. You can specify the first point, and then as you drag, depending on the direction, you can come down, left, right, or diagonal. Then you can see it has got units. So the, those units you can simply type. So that's my line tool. I'm searching from that. You can see it's telling me to specify the next point on the command line. So you simply specify. You can type distance or simply click. 
So I can tap type maybe I want 25. Just type using your keyboard. Then you hit your enter key. When you press your enter key, you can see it's aligned there. Then you can also come down. And also you can type. Then you can go this way, or right, left, depending on the direction how you want your line to look like. So from there, I need another line of um, uh, 15. Then you hit your, hit your enter key. Once you have hit on your enter key, then you can still go back in this direction. And then uh, you also type, I need uh, 25 again. 25. And then simply I can now join. I can now join this line with the other one. Then you click. Once you have clicked to close it up, you hit the enter key to exit. That's how we draw a line tool using line command. We also have circles. We have got various ways of operating circles. We have circle center radius, circle center diameter, turn turn radius. So when you click on circle center radius, when you click, it asks you for specify the center point. Just click on the center point where you want to place your circle as you drag. Then it asks you, when you look at the command line, it asks you for the radius because that's what we have picked. So the radius of 7, simply type the radius of 7, then you hit your enter key, like that. Then, and much more, we still have uh, all these. Uh, we have circle center diameter, it works the same. You can specify the diameter or radius. We have two point circle. Click on two point. This one gives you one point and then you click on the another point by maybe typing if you know the units another point of 15 so it depends on how it moves so those are various options on how we can use these particular tools here another tool which is also very important here is called uh, the rectangle tool oh, it's not uh, picking up if it does not pick up you can just do a rectangle, R E C, using your keyboard, then you click. So when you click on the rect rectangle, it asks you for the specify the first corner, you just click, and then now you can navigate the, the direction using your mouse. So when you look at your command line, command line also gives us options on how we can operate, on how we can draw, for example, your rectangle. So before you click on the next corner, it will ask you for dimensions. You can draw a rectangle based on area, dimensions, or rotations. So you can pick, pick options on how, how you want your rectangle to look like or how you want your rectangle to be. So, for example, to pick these options, we use uh, the initials hmm, highlighted in blue, in blue color, like area, dimensions, or rotation. So I do D. Just pick D before you click on the next corner doesn't matter about whether it's caps or lowercase then you hit your enter key then it asks you for the length of the rectangle so I need a, re a length of 20 just type then hit your enter key and then it asks you for the width because we have picked the dimensions I need a width of for example the width of 12 of you simply type then you hit your enter key so once you have hit your enter key now you click where you want to place it so you can see we have our rectangle tool drawn there. You can use these scrolls. You can scroll, zoom in and out using your mouse. Just zooming in and out when you are using your mouse. The scroll on the mouse, so you can zoom in and out to fit so that it can see. You can also have here. You also have the navigator. It's called the navigator here on the side. We have this pan. You can pan mm, to you can click pan so you can see it turns in the hand so you can simply pan your screen to create more space for other drawings to be done you can pan as you zoom then you press there once you have done with the pan you hit your enter key then you, you exit so these are various tools that you can use another important feature you have seen how the command line gives us those options on how we can operate these tools that we are picking here Another tool which is so very important is called the polygon, which is under, it's one of the rectangles. So when you pick like a polygon or any other tool which you want to use here, you simply type on the keyboard or uh, you just click on it there. There's a technical problem, so I'll be using my, my keyboard 
to type so when you do like a polygon on your keyboard mm, so it gives you all the options starting with that particular letter so when you have the polygon you hit your enter key so the next thing it asks you for the number of sides of your polygon mm. so when you look at your command line it could show the number of sides maybe you need a three-sided just use your keyboard to type then you hit your enter key and then now you specify the center when you click where you want to place your polygon it has options alongside the cursor or the crosshair that's how it's called in engineering then now you can pick either inscribe or circumscribe just pick any then as you drag it asks you for the radius so you can see how the command line guides us when you're using these tools here so i can have a radius of 10 use your keyboard to type then you hit your enter key so this is our triangle of a polygon tool so that's how we use various tools under draw and how you can see how the command line help us to pick options when using particular tool there another tool which is also very important these are arcs these are just arcs three point arc just keep clicking on three point start center and you can use your command line to guide you and see how you can operate these types of arcs there yeah. another important tool is uh, it's called the hatch this one this is the use of uh, use of patterns to fill various regions in a given drawing or in your given project because some areas has to be hatched to show that uh, it is a fill or using a fill so you operate you pick on the hatch when you click on the hatch here it will give you options for hatch we have hatch and a gradient so these are patterns so you can have various patterns for, for various areas or various use so when you click on hatch you just wait a little bit so on top here you can see this the hatch creation so this is these are the patterns which i've shown you so you click on on the pattern or you can click on this drop down arrow so you can have we have a, a variety of patterns by scrolling you can see you've got various patterns which you can apply in various regions so when you click on that pattern maybe you want to pick a particular pattern or you can pick it from there maybe this or this pattern and then it asks you for the pick an internal point also when you look at your command line it asks you for the internal point so patterns works on closed areas eh, in, in a given project it cannot work on something which is not closed so it has to form a closed boundary so in this case i want to fill this area using that particular pattern so you click so that's the pattern when you zoom you can see that's the pattern that i want to use so sometimes the pattern can be a bit thick or can be sparsely distributed with, within that particular region so in the hatch create in the hatch creation here we have what we call scale so you can scale it down or scale it up so it depends on which size or which type of pattern you pick you simply have to scale so in our in this case you can see this pattern i need a scale you just click inside there then you increase the scale maybe instead of i do five just type using your keyboard then you hit your enter key when you hit the enter key you can see now the pattern has increased then you hit your enter key to exit then it takes you back there so you can see there's another pattern so i can also pick fill this area using another hatch when you click pick hatch and then now you have to pick another pattern for example that then you click on inside part so that's what you have been told pick an internal point from the command line you click you see we have that, that particular pattern you can either decide to increase the scale or reduce the scale then here on the other properties apart from scale we also have color you can give it a color maybe you want to make it red you can see it changing into red then this is another fill color you can use that as a fill color so as you navigate through the colors you see you will find various colors so that pattern is red with a fill color of that particular nature so that's the under properties on the uh, on the hatch creation once you are done yes. <coughs> sorry just hit your enter key so these are various basic basic tools used for designing engineering drawings apart from hatch we also have what we call the gradient 
gradient is the use of colors, only colors to fill various regions or various areas. So when you click on the gradient, so apart from hatch, you can see here the pattern is color. So you can mix your colors under properties. You can have, you can pick a color, and, and then you pick the appearance the, which you want, maybe from the list. Yeah. So when you come and click on that particular area, you'll find the pattern, the gradient has been shown. So it's a mixture of colors. You can have a variety of colors. They are limited. There are only two colors, or you can only have one color. And then you pick the appearance from the pattern. Once you have done that, you hit your enter key, and you'll find you filled various areas. So as I've said, for example, when you zoom out, when you look into this, you'll find this place is open. So when you have an open place, you cannot be able to hatch or do a gradient. So we can apply this here. So when the place is not filled, it's not closed. So when you come to hatch, when you try to hatch, for example, this now, you can pick, you can pick a pattern. So I want to fill an area which is not closed. So when you click, it will show you a closed boundary that cannot be determined. So that's why, why I've said you can, you must make sure where you want to apply your fill or where you want to apply the pattern or where you want to apply a gradient must be closed or else you will see a dialog box showing you the closed boundary cannot be determined. So you simply close and make sure you close it up before you apply those patterns in those various regions. So that's it on the, the draw. So we stop there and move on in a minute and see how we can now use the modify to see how we can modify various objects. Thank you so much.